today we shall see image fade out and fade in effects jquery has an built-in function called fade toggle to handle both of these fade in and fade out effect we have fade in and fade out as a separate functions too but fade toggle is one of my favorite if i illustrate fade toggle you can just replace it with fade in and fade out functions and test it out yourself the effects for basic css that is cascading style sheet tutorials please visit technotip.com and css category and for previous basic videos of jquery please visit jquery category on our blog technotip.com so now we have created a html document now i'm including an image with this image we will apply the fade toggle effect using jquery let's see how it is displayed on our browser so this is the image i have just included now let me include a button too once we click on the button it need to toggle before that i'll align this logo to somewhat center of the document now i'll select the image tag and apply the positioning of it i'll put absolute positioning top maybe a 300 and from left 300 too let's see how it looks on our browser okay now to start with jquery i need to include the jquery library first yeah. see here if we write any keywords wrong it will give in red color now the src the jquery library which we have stored inside this folder now start with the another script tag and start writing with your own jquery code now i'll include a button too because once we click on this button the fade in and fade out effect takes place on the image we'll write the jquery program such a way if you don't understand jquery basics please visit previous two videos and you'll find it very easy to write jquery basics that is fade in fade out toggle image toggle text toggle effects and all these are very simple things if you find today's tutorial complex please visit previous days two videos just two videos and you'll find all these very easy now i'm selecting the entire document once the document that is the web page is loaded i'll call this anonymous function inside this anonymous function i'll check if the button has been clicked select the button see button has an id called toggle since it is an id we will start it with the pound symbol we selected it click is a user event inside that i'll write a anonymous function again once the user clicks on this toggle button what it has to do once the user clicks on toggle button i'll select this image and call fade toggle function that's it 
now check it out in your browser click on this this is what is called fade toggle that is fade in and fade out you can change the, this to slide toggle fade in fade out and check how it works i'll just change it to 100 and 200 let's see we can see all this in a single window that's it so this is a simple program please visit previous days videos too and please keep subscribe so that you get future videos too please share this video on facebook google plus twitter linkedin etc and please like it on youtube